Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now here we have implemented the control elements. So uh, capturing the data using the state we have did it. Now let's see here. Let's write write some logic here. So we are showing option quantity only one two three right. I want to show up to twenty. So that means I need to copy paste it like this. So which is not uh, what I can say is reasonable thing. So what I can do is let's try to loop over from one to twenty. So for this one, I will show you some React JS in our normal in React JS all the time the people will do. So what is that one is? So you can take from array dot from. So you need to have about the syntax. So array dot from, and I will I will try to show you that syntax also array from. So we'll try to see array from, and this is our JavaScript MDN. If you try to see here array from, and you can take one two three elements like this, and you can use an operator also like this one. Okay. And also, you can have something like uh, array like, and you can do here. You can mention iterable uh, array like object converted to an array. You can do it. So iterable iterable object also you can use it. I will try to show you the example with this one. So now, what I want to do is so array dot from, and here the length should be twenty. Okay, so the length should be twenty. And here you will be having an, a second argument will be an function, okay. And the first value you will be getting is then index, and the second value you will be getting is the now uh, sorry value and the index. And here you can do something like underscore comma i. So we are mostly uh, interested in the index. So here I am creating an empty array, empty array with twenty, uh, and I am mo I am most properly concerned in the index thing. So and and I am returning i plus one. So I don't want from zero i plus one. And here I will do the map operator. Okay. So each value I am taking it. And in this each value I want to convert it into an option. Okay. And here I will show the value. And here also I will do something like value. So uh, value is equal to value. I can do it like this. That's it. Now if you see the output for this one, if you here. See, we are able to get the twenty elements quantity. So what I have did it here, I have took an empty array which is having twenty values. So it doesn't have anything. All the things you will be having is an undefined thing only. So now here I am taking loop over. So first one is a value and second one is an index. So I am most probably concerned with the index only. So now with the index thing, so what I am trying to do is I am incrementing zero plus one. So why? Because first one you will be getting is zero. So that means I want to get a one, and I am looping over this map value. So everything will be something like one, two, three, four, five like that. Now, if you try to, what I can say is, and here, <coughs> what I am trying to do. So here I am going on to the map item. So if I will try to show you in the console element also, then you will be able to understand very easily. And here in the inspect element, in the console, here what I will do here. So now I am able to get zero, one, two, three, four, five like this. So here I am, I am having the values like this. I plus one, I am doing it right. So one, two, three, four, five like this, I am having. Now this one, I am looping over each one, and I am doing an option value. So this is how we will be doing it. This is a pretty tricky uh, hack type of thing, not hack type of thing. So logic. So which you want to display one, two, four, or twenty numbers? If you want to display, means you can use this method. So fine. So we have displayed the quantity, and price should be always uh, what I can say is a number value only. Fine. We got the values. Now what I want to do is upon this form submit. Okay, upon this form submit, I need to submit the values. So here you can have on submit. Okay, is equal to so on add item submit. Okay, we can have a method like this. So now I will catch this one and I will create on function on submit and I will do a console dot log. Submit filed. Okay, so like this I will do it. So this is our simple thing. Now let's go to the console inspect element on add item submit. So we are having this one right on add item submit. So this is not the method or what? So this is the method only. Yeah, sometimes it will happen like this. So let's go to the console. Okay, and if I refresh this page again, we'll refresh this page. So you 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 must have a unique property whenever you are trying to loop it. You need to have unique property. Okay, we can have a key value. We know that one is a unique property. We can keep this key value also as a value. Fine, right? Now I hope that there will be no issue. Fine. No, so far no errors in the console. Now we got the values. What we need to do? What we are trying to do? When I try to click on this add item, 
so you need to get this submit file now here if i click here immediately what is happening the page is entirely get refreshing if i click on add item again it is refreshing but we are able to see the console is getting fight but the page is refreshing so if you try to observe my dom courses dom playlist if you see here in the dom playlist so you will be able to observe about this one so we have discussed about this event thing so whenever you want to uh, prevent the default so we need to catch this we need to get the event automatically the arguments will be passed to this one so you got the event and what you need to do is you need to do event e dot prevent default okay so now you need to submit this e dot prevent default now if i refresh this page now what is happening now nothing so if i click on this add event see submit file and the page is not getting refreshed so we got so now we have submitted this file form now we need to catch all those values and we need to create so here constant item is equal to and i got the name okay so name and i got the quantity quantity and i got the price also and id id we need to create so date dot now so in order to have a unique value so here so i have created an object so name quantity price so these are nothing but the key value and if, if the key value and the if the key and the value is one and the same only means then you can use it like this so the key the key will be become name and the value will become the variable which is referring to that name so now if you if i console this value this is an es6 feature so if i console this item value now we need to get an item object now if i refresh this page <coughs> now we got the values right if i click on so i will observe i will make it as an 8 and here i will make it as an 23 if i click here see now we are able to get the value so we have got the unique id which is a date milliseconds and we got the so now here we have sent this value now we got the unique id which is the date which is representing in milliseconds and the name also we got we are got it and price quantity everything we got it now it's time for us to send it to the items list here so this one this item the complete item which we have set it so it's time for us to send it to the items list so what i need to do here to send it to the items list this item list where it is located if you try to see in the inspect element and in the components where is this one uh, gone i think so i don't know where this components will be again we'll try to inspect the element maybe now this time it will come no it is not coming so okay fine leave it um, so where we need to pass it through the to the items list somehow we need to pass it to the items list this one so let's try to pass this one to the item list before that one so when i click on this add item okay <clears throat> now here we'll try to do some validations and here if an item name is empty okay so we are making it as a default one right so let's try to make it as an empty okay when the item name is empty so here when i click on this element so we have, even though if item name is empty it is trying to get submitted so here this should not be done so what i can do here e dot prevent default and if name is equal to is equal to empty okay if you write name is equal to is equal to empty then you can simply return so you can use it like this now if you try to do now if i click on this one so we are not submitting any data so after value entering this one and after doing this one and if i try to do here also if i click on this add item so we got the item added and we need to reset this all the values so in order to reset this all the values what i can do here so i can make this one as set name of empty okay and set quantity of 1 so which is a default value and i can do set price of 0 fine right so now if i try to refresh this page okay and i will try to write the value and if i try to do the 24 and if i take the quantity and if i click here see we got the id name price and quantity fine right so and also the value of this form also got resetted so this is how we got the values now it's time for us to send this created or otherwise this formed item list to this items list table and we need to display it. So let's try to do this one in the next video. So hope you understood about this one. So what I will do is I will commit this code in a new branch that is video iPhone twenty five. So whoever may be having doubts and all those things. So here we have learned about the form submit. So now I am committing this all the code, and here I will publish this branch also. Whoever may be having a doubts or anything, so we have a GitHub repository URL. So the link is provided in the description below of the every video. 
and whatever the video you are watching in this react playlist you can go to that particular video branch here it is provided and in particular video branch you can check the code which i have explained to you in that branch okay so that's it guys about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you